This is truly a spiritual battle. The enemy tried to defeat you, but you overcame. The enemy job was to still kill and destroy you as a chosen one of God. Your anointing attracted a lot of people that was just demons to you. They didn't have the best intentions for you. They set traps for you. They hoped and wished on your downfall. Wish you would fail in life. This is what people wish for you for no reason. This is what they wish. They let the enemy use them to get to you. So in, in turn, they became your enemies because they chose to be your enemy. It's okay if you're doing good, a lot of these people said to you. But as long as you're not doing better than them, they fine. Who gave them that power and authority to speak word curses over you and say what you cannot get, your blessings from God? Who gave them that right to speak that? It wasn't righteous. But yet these people thought it was very righteous to come against you like that. People really thought they had you figured out. They really thought they had everything about you figured out. Your blood relatives, they thought they had everything about you figured out. That toxic ex-lover, they he, he or she thought they had everything about you figured out. Their plan was to ruin you, defeat you. Then you came back shining better than before. And now everybody's shocked at where you are, what you're doing. See, God hid you, hid your value for a reason against people. Because he saw the hearts of people. He saw the plots and schemes. He saw the backbiting. He saw the gossip. People gossiped on your name. I'm talking about behind closed doors. And God is saying, if you only knew what they were saying behind your back, on the reason why I had to remove you or remove them from you. So you wasn't present when they were talking this behind your back. But God heard it. So he said, okay, since you've got everything to say about this person, why did that person need to be around y'all? If that's how you really feel about them. Oh yeah, God is, God is putting people in a place this season in 2024. Everybody that came up against you, he's putting them in a place. And he's telling you, don't let these people back in. He's showing you. He's showing you something. When God show you something, whether it's a vision or a dream, he's showing you something for a reason about people that came up against you. But they don't think you know this because they don't think you and God have a relationship. They don't think you talk to God. They don't think you got intuition. They don't think you have abilities to understand spiritual matters and what they really about they played the role like your enemy a lot of these people and then they expect you to just forget about it forget that we played the role like your enemy just forget that so we can do it all over again a lot of them think and this is why god said enough is enough you are in your new season for God's divine glory. Past things are behind you. God got you in your new season. And it might look hazy. It might, it might look very grim where you are. But God got you there for a reason. And he's saying keep pressing towards the mark. Keep pressing forward. He know it hurt. He know these battles ain't easy. When people come up against you in droves. In numbers. And you're just one old person you just one person, but you got gangs and gangs of people, gangs talking to you, monitoring you through social media, trying to speak word curses over you, trying to rob still and figure out how they can plot and scheme over your life. This is what these people want to do. God says he sees it all. You best believe that he see it all, what people do. He's saying, he's telling you today, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what people got going on and how they feel about you, what they think, what they plotting. God says stay in your prayer closet. Any attack or witchcraft attacks coming from the enemy, 
or the enemy using people over you, God says stay in your prayer closet. Pray against it. Pray without ceasing. Because when you're anointed one of God, you always going to have you're going to have opposition, should I say? That's the word. Opposition on every turn. People that don't want to see you make it. People mad because God chose you over them. People mad because you got anointing and they don't. So they speak word curses. They get jealous. They get envious. They hate you because you the light and they still stuck in darkness. Some of these people, they just got mental issues. And they wanted to make you their problem. But your anointing is going to attract everybody. It's going to attract a lot of people to you. It's going to attract darkness and it's going to attract the light. But as long as you know who you are, as long as you know who you are for God's glory, you ain't got nothing to worry about. People thought they had you figured out. People thought they was going to ruin you. If you, you would be surprised when people thought, oh, that person going to lose everything. They're going to lose everything. We're going to cause this person to lose everything because they're not doing what we want them to do. They can't use you up and abuse you no more. They can't control you. They can't nitpick everything you do. And God said, cut these people off and that's what you did. So now they're feeling some type of way about that. You got these people feeling some type of way. Because you chose... You chose to get right. You chose to cut them off because you realize they're not beneficial for you and your spiritual growth anymore. And you were righteous. You were righteous. Not beneficial at all. <laughs> people are... People can't believe what God is doing for you and not them. It's all about the heart posture. They heart posture wasn't right. They was looking on your downfall when God was looking to rise you up. It ain't always about having money. It ain't always about that. Sometimes it's really just about what's in your spirit compared to everybody else. What's in your heart. It ain't about how much money a person got and how much money a person don't got. This world is ran by money. They say money is power. But a lot of people abuse and use money and do wicked things just to have money. That's the way this world operates. You got to sell your soul just to make a lot of money? I don't think so. God saying his anointed. You, if you his anointed, you don't have to do that. You ain't got to sell your soul to make a lot of money. To make people happy. And then in turn you miserable that you did it. Because you sold your soul. People will sacrifice their soul. Just to make money. Get rich quick scheme. Rob and steal from others. Just so they can stay on top. God said these people going to meet their demise. Anybody that took from you. I don't care if they took from you three, four, five, seven, ten, twenty 10, 20 years ago. Anybody that took for you when they was wrong taking from you. God said a lot of these people ain't even make it. They're not even finna live past 45 because they've been on that path for a long time. You don't know what they demise gonna be. God said, dust it off. Anybody that took from you wrongfully, best believe that they're gonna reap what they sow. I don't care who it is. If they took from you and their heart wasn't righteous towards you and they made you believe through being deceptive that they were had your best interests at heart and then you end up losing more than you thought you was going to gain because they told you a lie and they came very deceptive. God said a lot of these people ain't even finna make it past 40. You only got so long to be wicked on this earth before God said your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. Your days are enough. Their days are numbered. They just don't think. They think they're going to keep getting away with this. People laugh and mock. I'm going to rob and steal from this person. I'm going to take from her. I'm going to take from him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get rich. Their days are numbered. 
is very numbered. God saw that. God saw their ugliness. God saw them being deceptive and a deceiver. Your enemy. They played a role like your enemy. God saw it all. But God surely said he's going to deal with the wicked. And their days are numbered. You best believe that. You best believe it. You are an anointed child of God. That's who you are. You are anointed. You ain't got to be wicked like them. You ain't got to do wicked things just to get what you want. Even though this world will make you believe you got to do those things to get everything. God said keep your faith in him. Don't worry about what they doing out in this world. Keep your faith and your eyes stayed up on him and what he's doing in your life. There's nothing too hard for God. I know we live in a world where you think you got all this chaos going on. All the stuff going on in the news that we think is hard for God when we talk to him. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Sometimes God just wants you to take, take a step of obedience. Get on your hands and knees and pray to him. Sometimes God just wants you to fast a little more and let him take care of the battle. Sometimes God wants you to just be quiet. And then sometimes he wants you to speak. But consult God with everything. You are anointed. So the warfare was going to be great anyway. It's going to be great. People going to come against you. People going to lie. People going to scheme. But at the end of the day, because of who you are and who you got, you got God. You got God over your life. You don't think he knows how to get you out of situations? How to get you out of people's scheming and plotting against you? He know how to get you out that stuff. That's why he's asking you to trust him. He know to get you out of a lot of things. He know when to move you. He know when it's time for you to be quiet, when it's time for you to speak. Let people do what they're going to do. People want to control people by the dollar, by money. Oh, you ain't got no money? Some of these bills collectors that call y'all. Oh, you ain't got this today? Well, we're going we gonna to do this. We're going to do that. And they know you ain't got it because they know they're not paying you nothing on the jobs. These people be knowing that. But yet they want to harass you about $100. Sometimes God saying, just be quiet. You ain't got to stress out about what the world got going on. This is a system set up. God said, do not be dismayed about the tactics of an enemy. Because he got tactics. This system is ran by an unseen enemy. Yes, it is. You can't see the enemy, but you can tell what enemy is there. Because why you got so much opposition? But God gave you some gifts. He said, pray. Again, we live in the spiritual world. Everything is spiritual. It ain't just physical. You got to pray for everything. Pray when you wake up. Pray when you lay down. There's always something to pray about. You don't know what's going on spiritually coming up against you because you can't see in the spirit unless God reveals you certain things in the spirit and then you can pray against it. This is why you need to pay attention to your dreams and visions. God said, paying attention to your dreams and visions because he talked through your dreams and visions. So when you got warfare going on, you would know because God is giving you those downloads while you're sleeping, while you're dreaming. So you can know what you need to pray for when you wake up. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's what I did this morning. The enemy tried to disturb my spirit in a dream early on today. And you know what I got up? I got up and I prayed against it. So whatever the devil thought he had, I got up and prayed against it. And you got to believe that God heard that prayer. You got to believe when you pray, God hear you. And God is already going to fight that battle. Because the devil think he wins. He thought he won. Some of y'all need to give the devil an eviction notice. Some of y'all need to tell the devil no more. Some of y'all need to stop being a punching bag for the devil. Tell him to get his ugly behind away from you. 
You ain't got time for his tactics. You ain't got time for his games. Sometimes God just wants you to stand up for yourself. Tell the devil enough is enough. No more bullying you. Because you ain't the one to be bullied. You are anointed for a reason. He can't bully you. So he got to use a lot of people to come against you to get you to downplay your faith. Downplay your abilities. Not trust God. The devil sent people your way so you, he can stop getting you to trust God. God said trust him even more while the enemy coming at you like a flood. And there he go will lift up a standard against him. That's what God said in his word. The enemy might come to you like a flood. But here go God will lift up a standard against him. Resist the devil at all costs and he will flee. I don't care who he is. Y'all think the devil going to come in a pitchfork? No, he going to come in the form of your mother, the form of your father, your ex-lover, your ex-friend, your manager at your job, your boss, your co-worker. The enemy can show up through anybody. He ain't got to show up with a pitchfork and red on. No, he's going to come in a form through people. But you got to have spiritual discernment to know when you're dealing with an unseen enemy using these people because they're weak in their faith. They listen to his lies and then they come against you because of that. Because the devil told them to. All the devil had to do was a lot of these people that came against y'all was whispering in their ear. Go harass that person. And then they go do it. They go do it. Like the dummies they are. Because they're not really worried about spiritual things. They just know you. They think you a problem because the enemy put them lies in their ear like you the problem. But really you just anointed. And they can't perceive your light. That's the battles we fight. That's the battles we fight with the enemy. But you can't let that waver your faith. God got that under control. And if you believe that by faith, whatever plan the enemy got over your life, it ain't going to work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in the day of judgment, thou shalt condemn. And that is the heritage of the saints of the righteous so you will have a reward so don't worry about these people and how they feel about you and what they done god said he got that too you just keep being obedient to what god told you to do you that's anointed by god until next time stay prayed up the battle is not over but the battle is already won. It's already won. Just keep having faith and keep on keeping on. Bye-bye.